Hi, I'm Dr. Chol Kim, and I'm a minimally invasive spine surgeon at the Spine Institute of San Diego. A lot of people have been asking me about the difference between a laser endoscopic spine surgery and a more standard microdiscectomy. Um, that's a very good question, and um, let me start out with, with what the problem uh, that we treat with those two surgeries are. They turn out to be essentially the same problem. Both the microdiscectomy surgery as well as a laser endoscopic surgery is designed to treat a herniated disc. And a patient that has a herniated disc will have pain in their back and it will, the disc herniation pinches the nerve that goes down their leg and with standing and walking or even prolonged sitting, that pain radiates from the back all the way down the leg and oftentimes to the foot where you have either an ache or a burning pain or a nerve-like pain uh, and it can be quite debilitating. And the goals of any surgery in that particular instance, um, assuming that it doesn't get better with, with non-operative treatment, is to remove the piece of disc herniation um, and move it off the nerve because there's a component of a mechanical compression on the nerve. And also to free up the nerve because in the process of the disc herniating out and hitting the nerve, there's a lot of inflammation. And you can do that uh, in a variety of different ways, but the two most common ways is uh, through a small incision where you open up the space in the spine, remove the um, offending disc herniation, and free up the nerve. The most common way that it's done today is through a one-inch incision uh, through a procedure that we call a microdiscectomy. And you could either do that through a small tube or a small retractor, but I would say that that's a very well-established technique that most of us perform on a regular basis. Um, the surgery takes about an hour, um, and you go home the same day in most cases. But this incision is about an inch long and the surgical corridor uh, is about an inch in diameter. We could also do the surgery using um, a more minimal invasive technique and that's using the laser endoscope. And the idea is instead of making a, a one inch incision, we make a much smaller incision and you use an endoscope to visualize the surgical target site. And the way we do that surgery is to come in a little bit from the side so that we avoid all the powerful muscles in the back. We start out with a needle, and over that needle we make the incision slightly bigger and bigger and bigger, and we dilate open the surgical corridor instead of uh, making an incision and spreading it open. We dilate it open. In the end, the amount of the uh, dilation is much smaller than when we do a microdiscectomy. The advantage of the laser endoscopic surgery in that sense is that the incision is smaller, there's less bleeding, there's less soft tissue injury, and therefore the pain is less, the recovery is faster, and the risk of infection is greater. Probably the only disadvantage is that by making the incision much smaller, it's technically more challenging to do the surgery. Um, but fortunately, I do the surgery endoscopically more often now than I do it through a microdiscectomy approach, and so in my hands, I'm a little bit more facile with the endoscopic technique, but for all comers, one of the disadvantages of the endoscopic surgery is that it's technically very difficult and requires a lot of practice to really do as good of a job as a microdiscectomy. Those are the main differences. They're both great procedures to treat patients with symptomatic disc herniations that are refractory uh, and do not get better with non-operative treatment. Uh, both surgeries are relatively minimally invasive, both same-day surgeries, and both have very good results overall but the laser endoscopic surgery has the benefit of being uh, a lot more minimally invasive with smaller incisions, faster return to work, uh, less bleeding, um, and less post-operative pain. Thank you very much for listening. Um, I hope the videos were helpful. Uh, please uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to be updated on future videos. And if you thought that this video was helpful, please hit the like button. Uh, also, if you want to watch me do this procedure, please uh, check out the link below. Uh, and you can see me doing the actual procedure itself. Once again, thank you very much for listening in, and I look forward to seeing you here again in the near future.